Hello, AIMSI. I'm Cub Stevens. And I'm Jill Zamolik. And this is Ames High Shout. Hello. Good morning, Ames High. And welcome to this month's broadcast of your favorite student news broadcast, AHS Shout. AHS Shout. AHS Shout. AHS Shout. AHS Shout. Intro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, no, no matter what, you have an experience where you come of age. It's just a thing that happens, you know, you can't, more often than not, something's going to happen to you that, that makes you look at everything differently and it'll happen again later. Like all the little traditions that at Ames High, that like, you know, day to day, I'm going to kind of miss those because I've gotten really used to them. Like the, like little send-offs that every day um, announcer that gives the daily announcements has. The annual tradition of like once the courtyard closes, trying to find out where everyone's gonna eat inside. You have like the nomads that you just wander around from classroom to classroom. Getting kicked out of the MC for minor dis misdemeanors has been fun. <laughs> I don't know, like it's just the whole experience like has been very rewarding. I I became a human being from like not just a middle schooler but a severely socially disabled middle schooler with no friends, so, except Ben. I think Ames High has helped me grow a lot because it has so many awesome opportunities, um, not just like academically, but uh, musically and with like sports and stuff. And so I have been able to experience a lot of different things because of Ames High that I wouldn't have been able to experience otherwise. Uh. Well, the most memorable part, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, you get to do, <laughs> you get to do stuff. Some of the things I appreciate the most, probably the teachers, because I've taken some great classes that I probably wouldn't have enjoyed so much if it wasn't for teachers. Stress, I guess, or, uh, com competition. But uh, also a fun twist to that, I guess. Um, I don't know. So at Ames High, I think I've learned a lot about exploration, and Ames High has provided me with a lot of opportunities to find all the different things that I love and to be able to work in all different areas from environmental science to choir to theater to capture the flag. I think that's a really valuable part of what people can get from Ames High. So a lot of things that I wouldn't see myself doing, I got to do at Ames High because they just have so many things at Ames High, such as the drill team. And yeah, so there's in the fashion show this year too. I'm really glad I brought, I branched out. It's meant a lot. I know I made a lot of memories in that time. Uh, a lot of friends. Um, generally. It's been a great experience. I'd do it again. A good place to just find what you're passionate about, which sounds cheesy, but it's true. Like everyone else, I feel like Ames High has been a place where I've been able to discover more about myself. It's been the most important part of our life up until now. Um, but I guess uh, Ames High has just meant um, a lot of relationships. Having a good, um, I don't know, support system and, and, and network of, of really good people. Because um, I think that I think Games is, is full of good people. Uh, Ames High has really been a place um, where I've been able to find support that's given me strength that's going to propel me in the years to come. I'd like to thank everybody that made my four years here at Ames High such a great experience. Especially those of you that watched us on Shout for these past four years. It's been a ride. You didn't have a choice, but Ames High's been through a lot in the past four years, and I think Shout has too, so thank you for sticking with us. And for the last time, I'm Jill Zamolik. And I'm Cub Stevens. And this has been AHS Shout. Thank you for tuning in, Ames High, even though you did not have a choice. Have a great day.